What's up, YouTubers? One and all, my name is Fate1987, and today we are taking a look at the Cool Beyond Break. Not Cool Beyond Break. Why did I know? Uh, anyways, this is Pocket Toys Bruticus Part 5 Vortex. I really had to mess up on my favorite character. You know what? I'm leaving that in. I'm leaving that in for the humor. Anyways, this is Vortex. And this is Vortex, and I, this is the G1 Vortex, to be specific. This is more like IDW Vortex, but you know what? I like it. I really do. Granted, it's not the same as this Vortex, which also has a very good color scheme and whatnot, but again, look at the similarities. And the upgrade kit on, it would also have a tail and whatnot, but still. It's pretty much spot on to the similarities. I really like it. I really do. However, he's also a little problematic. All of these fig like all these figures are. Then again, this is a knockoff, so of course we're problematic sometimes. So yeah, sometimes it'd say it'd be screw you. Anyways, let's throw in hook, hook, hook. Give us a hook. Not being destroyed today, buddy. Uh, let's throw in commander class. Another helicopter, by the way. Yes, I've apparently kept this guy, because I really do like the paint on him. Don't get me wrong. Whoever painted this guy up is real genius, because this looks badass. This is not, this is not like, say, give me a moment. This is the second time I have to bring this guy out. On a vortex video, no less. That is insane. It, it doesn't even fit in the. I, I'm not gonna make him fit inside the, the the um the shot. No way, hell. Just no. Just no. Stop. No. Anyways, so there's that. I guess. Not really much to say, except just simply just get them all transformed. You know. But wait, hold up, there's more. Because we gotta throw in his other teammates. Because we do this shot all the time. There we go. There's the five of them. No, four of them. We got one more to do. And, uh, yeah, it's a little bit better. But anyways. Here we go. That's it. So let's get down to transformation, shall we? Let's... To transform Vortex, first you want to do is you want to take the weapons off. Take them off. Take them off like so. So now you're going to unfold all this. Well, actually you're going to open this up and then unfold. Open, open. And then fold back in, like so. Fold down. Fold back in. And that is half of it done. Now you're going to spin this around so that this is like facing downwards. And then bring this part down. And then this part like that. Spin around the head and just basically straighten out the arms. Just straighten out the arms and there you go. And then on top of that, get these for like shoulder cannons. And there you go. That is Blast Off in his, no, Vortex. In his robot mode. Which I gotta say, it's pretty neat. It's really well done. However, it's a little lacking, per se. Of course, we got articulation for these, but we also got a ball joint. We got waist swivel. Leg up and down. It can do the full splits. Thigh swivel. 
back that far, uh, ball joint, which is a really wide one for that, for um, feet rotation, so it can go up and down and whatnot. Um, and then wrist rotation, bicep swivel, double jointed elbow, which is nice. Yeah, I kind of went backwards, but oh well. He's a really fun figure. Again, this is one of my favorites. Why is Wojciech always the favorite when it comes to toys and a character? Why? Alright, moving on. To Sada Comparison. For Sada Comparison, we're going to bring in the rest of Vortex's teammates besides the last one, which is next video. So, we have that. We have... Where did I put the rest? Ah, there they are. And we have them. So, yeah, all in all, it seemed, it, it, this is a, shaping out to be a pretty good set. Now, of course, tolerances have weakened um, since the last couple times I fiddled with these. So, bear with me that these aren't exactly up to par with what they used to be. But at least they are easy to transform whatever. For a commander class size comparison, um, let's bring in Starscream. I have them hunched over, but yeah, you can clearly see the difference. Let's bring in Dreadwing, because why not? Let's bring in Soundwave. Yeah, it does not work. I want a bigger Soundwave. I don't like this one. I'm sorry. Uh... For Deluxe class, let's bring in, well, what do we have here? We have, yeah, you fell. You had some fell. Gosh darn it. Ugh. This thing is uneven. It's not me, it's, it's, the, it's, it's the thing that I record on, but, yeah. There's that for scale. Um, let's bring in Mirage. Yes, again, I have Mirage. I'm going to say this for one last time during these videos. I'm sorry, but bear with me. All right. I don't have anything else around me at the moment. I have Cyclonus again. And Jetfire. Stand, old man. Thank you. Alright. So, let's get back down to transformation, shall we? To transform Vortex, first one I do is that we want to remove the guns. Alright? We want to remove the guns and remove the blades. Alright? Let's make it easy. Let's remove the blades. Alright? Let's move that. And move that. And just move the gun. Alright? So, for Vortex, we're going to flip around his head. And then, these are just going to tab into here, nice and kind of securely. Even though it will flop over from time to time. What you want to do now is that you want to open these up. And, like so. You want to flip these down to kind of create like the roof section. These right here, you're going to fold in the arms, and there is a tab here. You're going to slot in right here. You gotta angle the arm down correctly. Like so. And then from this full point forward, it should be pretty obvious. Pretty easy. Um. You need to push it all the way in. All the way in. Tap it in like that. Bring these in. Uh, we are missing something. Give me a moment. 
Okay, so we have right here. And we're going to just simply plug it in. It doesn't always like to stay. You need to have this pushed all the way back. It's just going to kind of soft tap in there. It ain't going to always stay. I'm sorry, but it won't. It's going to stay for, for robot mode, sure, but for vehicle mode, don't expect it to. Then you're going to plug the side guns back in here. Kind of create like the, um, like a usual attack helicopter with like the leg bars or whatever. And then finally, you're going to put this on. That was not supposed to fall off. Um... Where'd I put it? Where'd I... No, like this. Like this. Okay. Like so. And you're going to put it like this. And with all that being said, there we have Vortex in his vehicle mode and to end a review. Now, I'm pretty sure you've noticed by now, I haven't really said much about it, but I'm not doing skits for these guys because, quite frankly, I'm already doing skits for the other Combaticons. Why well, need to do them for these guys? I mean, yes, then again, I didn't do skits for the Devastator ones, for like the Studio Series Devastator, but that's because they don't really have much to go for. Like, in truth, if I was going to do a skit, it would probably have to be with the Devastator combination. It wouldn't be with the individual bots. And then, of course, Fall Cybertron is going to... Like, the G1 Devastator, that actually has more personality, so I did just guess for that one. So, yeah. Sorry if it's a little bit long-winded, but long story short, I'm not doing skits for the Iron Factory ones. Alright? Thank you all for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment. And as always... So all are one.